guys happy Saturday I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend so far so today instead of doing a typical get ready with me which is what we normally do on our Saturdays we are going to start doing it in this format for most of the month and then one weekend or one Saturday out of the month we'll do a regular get ready with me this format here that I've decided to do is what I'm going to do is talk to you guys about all the products that I've tested this week how they apply to my skin my thoughts my opinions on these products and whether or not I feel like that I could recommend them to you guys and then that way there this will also help to shorten the length of the Monday video so it kind of like shrinks the videos down a little bit for you guys so it's not such a long videos because my get ready with me's have been going up to like 40 minutes first of all that's a long time to watch I'm sorry you guys second of all it's a long time to upload it takes a long time for my computer to do the job that it needs to do to get the program or to get the video uploaded to YouTube so it's just it's gonna help both of us out honestly so what I'm gonna do today is just talk about the products and then I will have a little video inserted either here or here or somewhere in the video of me trying the products out so it'll just show you a little demonstration of them how they work then I've of course, as I'm showing you them in the de demonstration, I'm also going to be talking about them. So the first thing is the foundation. So I did, first of all, before I started using the foundation, I started with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base. So I used this first. I just didn't show it on camera just because you guys have seen that in action before. So we're showing the things that you haven't seen before. So this is the Avon True Color Flawless Liquid Foundation. This is a one ounce container. It does have SPF of 15 in it. So it does also have a pump to it, which makes me very, very happy. It is a gloss bottle. Do I think this foundation is good? Not really. So my problems with this foundation is I feel like it's really, really, really hard to blend out. So like when I'm putting it on, I feel like it almost sits instantaneously onto your skin. When I'm using a beauty sponge to blend it out with, like today I use the Real Techniques to blend it out with. When I'm using that tool to blend everything out, I feel like it just doesn't want to move as good as I want it to. So I feel like it's kind of one of those foundations that you put it on and you're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? It's like starting to almost just set into place. So you have to move kind of quickly with it. The other thing is I did not use the sponge today that Avon sells because I do have their sponge as well. It is softer. After I got it wet, it is softer now but it's not a good sponge guys this sponge is so hard like when i was pouncing it onto my skin i felt like i was pouncing my son's he gets those little rubber balls out of like gumball machines i felt like that's what i was pouncing onto my skin it felt like it was a n not doing a good job whatsoever it was just moving it like pouncing this way and it just didn't feel good i feel like the real techniques is a way better sponge so if you're looking for a good sponge get the real techniques i don't recommend the avon sponge it's not good so again, back to the foundation. The other thing is with my dry skin, I feel like I have to use a lot of setting spray when I'm using this foundation. I am already like hydrated by the Bobbi Brown, but I still feel like I need to continuously add more layers of setting spray to, in order to keep it hydrated. I don't know what it is about this foundation. I don't know if it's the SPF. I don't know if it's made for maybe oily skin. I have really no idea, honestly. But I do know that I don't think it's the best for dry skin. It doesn't settle though. That's what's confusing. So once it's on and you've got it blended out, it doesn't really settle into like my fine lines here, like the ones I call my hot dog pack. So it doesn't settle into those or anything. So I don't know. It's just a little confusing. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to it. I'm not going to get rid of it yet. But I'm going to hold on to it and try it in the summer when my skin perhaps will be a little bit more normal. Because right now my skin is pretty dry. I mean, like, it's winter. So what do we expect? So I think I will try it out again in the spring, summer when my skin has a little bit more moisture to it. So we'll see if that helps. Otherwise, I think this is a fail for dry skin. So, so far, not looking so good, Avon. The next thing that I tried out is, of course, the uh, brow product. I'm trying to find everything. I've got everything such a mess here on my desk now. The brow product. So the brow product looks like this. They all look very similar. Like all their packaging looks really similar. Like their liners, their brow products. I'm like, how do you tell the difference? It's kind of hard to tell, honestly. So this is the Avon True Color Glimmer Sticks Brow Definer Contour Source. Source Seals. And I have this in the shade Light Brown. So do I like this? Actually, I like the color. The color of it, I feel like did a great job. The color looks really natural. It matches my hair color really well, in my opinion. My problem with this brow product is it's so soft. Like when I'm putting it on, I feel like it just wants to like almost like melt into my brows. So I have to kind of go very lightly and then not push hard at all. So go lightly and quick strokes. 
because it's just so soft. You don't want to push really hard because you're going to end up with one big brown line across your face and then it's going to look weird. So I really do like the way that it looks, the color of it. The color is really, really good in my opinion. I think this is the best my brows have matched like my natural hair color in a very long time. So that makes me very, very happy in that aspect. But again, I feel like it's a very soft line, like brow product. So if you don't like soft brow products, you're not going to like it either. So I don't think that it's a bad one, but I don't think it's a good one. So would I purchase it again? Absolutely not. Will I use it up? Yes. Okay, so also I want to talk about as well the foundation. I feel like it doesn't have the best coverage. I had to pause you guys. So if it looks a little different, I had to pause you guys. Actually, just stop you guys for a minute. My camera is overheating. The other thing I want to mention is the foundation is not really good coverage. So if you notice in the like try on part portion of the video, I was using a lot of concealer afterwards to help with the coverage of my skin and everything. It's because the foundation doesn't have great coverage. So I feel like it's a light coverage for sure. It's definitely not like a full coverage foundation. And for as cakey as it would, it makes my skin look, you would think it's a full coverage. So the next thing that I tried out, of course, was the eyeshadows. So I used my MAC Painterly Paint Pot to prime my eyelids with, which this is something that I go with every time because I know it's a no-fail type of product for me because this works every time, no matter what. Any kind of eyeshadow I've ever used, it works with it. So I went ahead and used that just because I know it's my my fail safe is that what you call it so this is the palette i was using it gets really dirty very quickly this is the avon true color eyeshadow quad and this is in the shade berry love so you get four shades in here you get a light it's supposed to be like i guess a white shade but it looks like a light pinky purple shade and then you get a very very pale lilac shade then you get a more deeper like plum shade and then you get a silver shade so this shade right here works really well for setting down on my eyelids. I think it did a good job. Be careful. This shade is pretty pigmented. If you do get this palette, this palette, this shade right here is pretty pigmented. Like the first time I tried it out, I put it on and I was like going in heavy handed with it. And my whole eyelid looked like it was completely white. And I'm like, whoa, that was a little too much. So be careful. The first one is very pigmented. The next one you're going to notice that I did not use this shade. It's because it, there's no color payoff whatsoever from this color right here. Like when I'm using it, I'm like, where's it? At? And like, I am keep putting it on. Even the day that I had the complete eye, the, the complete whiteout look on my eyelid, it still didn't show up with that. So it's not because my eyelid's too dark or anything like that. It just doesn't show up. The purple shade I find works well. It's a little difficult to blend out in like my crease area, but it works. So I, I can get it to work no problem. The silver shade, I wish it had a lot more oomph to it because like for me, it just was like a little underwhelming. I didn't feel like I was super excited or anything. I had to definitely go in with some setting spray to wet my brush to help make it look a little bit more pigmented. I'm going to zoom you guys in closer a little bit. So I had to go in like that to make it look a little bit better on my eyelids. In my opinion, it looks it looks fine now. It's not my favorite eye look, but I do like cool tone eye look. So I'm liking how it overall turned out, but like individually I personally would not like if they sold these shadows individually I would only purchase this one and this one so out of that you're only getting half of the palette that's actually really good so it does have a mirror in here as well it comes with these sponge tip applicators I didn't really like those I don't like sponge tip applicators all the time they do come in handy for certain instances but using this palette I don't think that they worked well with that so that was not that good for me the next thing I use is the liner. So I've tried all these liners out, but the one I used today was the blue shade. So I use this one right here. This is the Avon True Color Glimmer Sticks Diamonds Eyeliner, and this one's in the shade Twilight. So here's what it looks like. I'll swatch them for you guys. So I should swatch the eyeshadows as well. So here's what the blue shade looks like when you swatch it. These are extremely soft as well. So like be careful. Don't go in like really hard with them. They're very, very soft. But because they're so soft, I feel like they go on really easily on your eyelids, which to me that's great in an eyeliner because I want it to be soft on my lids. I don't want to be the kind that like you feel like you're like scraping across your lids and you're like, like it hurts. Some of those really can hurt. Then we have this shade right here. This is the shade Emerald. The other day I took a little bit of the, the Emerald and just put it on the outer crease and did more of like a nude look on my eyelid. Just did a little bit of the purple, not so deep like I did today. I did that and I love this color right here. This color is gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. That is such a pretty summer shade in my opinion. But again, I like I said, they're very, very soft. And then we have the typical, I just opened the same blue one. Then we have the typical, this is just the blackest black. 
So this is just a regular one. This one I find to be the softest out of the three though. Like this one is so, 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 so soft. So when you're using this, like I said, be careful. They can break easily because they are very soft. But in my opinion, I like that they're so soft. The other thing is wearing these, I did try to do a wing the other day, like a giant wing. It was like testing it out to see how it did. I put this on that, I think it's called the vamp stamp. So instead of using a liquid liner, this is so soft that I could actually rub that onto the vamp stamp little thing tap it onto my lid and it drew a wing for me. Believe it or not, it was able to do that. It doesn't run, it doesn't smear. I was for sure thinking the whole time my wing was gonna be like down to here or whatever, but it didn't. It did not move whatsoever. So I do like their liners. Their liners are really, really good in my opinion. So they are something that I would definitely purchase more of. The next thing that I used was, what else did we use next? So of course we did mascara, but for mascara, I just used the It Cosmetics Superhero. So this is one that I'm not really reviewing because you guys know this is one of my holy grails because it does a great job. It gives my lashes a lot of length, a lot of volume. So I really like the way it looks. So the next thing would be the cheek products. So we have two cheek products here. So the first one is the bronzer. So the bronzer is this one right here. It's called the Glow Together and it's doesn't have like a shade name or anything on here. Oh, actually it does. It says Low Tide. So little did I know it actually has a shade. So here's what it looks like. So if the first time I did this, I went in extremely he heavy handed. Let me show you what happens if you do that. So I went in extremely heavy handed with it and I was like, oh, it'll be okay. It'll be all right. No, don't do that. Cause like it will literally turn your skin into um Oompa Loompa status. Cause like I look like I had been in like soft tanning or something and just put it directly around the outer perimeter of my face. It looked awful. So I had to actually just go in with a powder brush and like blend it out as best as I could. But the next time I learned, go in with a very light hand with this because it's very, very pigmented. It does look really orange in the pan. I think it looks like almost terracotta, but I love the color. Once I put it on, I'm like, it looks like summertime in my opinion. It looks very summery. So I like this as well. I think this is a good product, but again, go in with a light hand. I feel like that's a lot of their issue. Like their liners, you want to use a light hand. This, you want to use a light hand. The shadows, you want to use a heavy hand. So now, the other thing that's cool about these is that they are magnetic, so they do stick together. I'm not exactly sure what that's the point in that is, though, so I don't know. Either way, they do stick together if you were curious. The next thing is the blush product. So the blush product is the same packaging. The packaging is actually really pretty, guys, so look at the packaging here. Let me go back and swatch the bronzer as well, because since I did, like, a big old brush swatch of it, let's do an actual finger swatch. So here is a finger swatch of the bronzer. So you can tell it definitely has a lot of orange underneath of it, which that's what you typically want for a bronzer, but for a contour, you definitely don't want to use that for a contour. So this is the cheek magnet as well, and this one's in the shade Mauve Forward. So here's what it looks like. I love, 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 love. I'm not, I don't know how many times I'm gonna be able to say this. I just need to put a big heart around it. Love this blush. I think this blush is absolutely gorgeous. I love the color. I love the color payoff. I love how it lasts. It's how it lasts on my cheeks. Do you see? It's so beautiful. This one here, you can go in with a little bit heavier of a hand because I feel like it doesn't come off quite as pigmented as the uh, contour shade did. So I feel like this one is a little bit more friendly to use. I really love this one though. So this one is another one that I think I want to look more into their blushes. Their blushes and their eyeliner so far are something that has got me very, very intrigued. So I'm like, maybe I want to get some more of those. The next thing that I use is the, oh, we forgot the concealer. So we'll go back to the concealer. So this is the Avon Color. This is the Ideal Nude Cream Concealer. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. First of all, I don't like the applicator to it. I feel like the applicator is very stiff. Do you see like it's not moving at all? Like there's no give to this. It's a very stiff applicator. So I don't like how stiff that is. I'm used to my Urban Decay. It's so soft when you put it under your eyes. The other thing is I feel like this is very dry. So like if you can see underneath my eyes right now, let me see if I can get you zoomed in really close. Look, look how much creasing I have going on under my eyes right now. And it's normally not like that. The other thing is I feel like it gives me a lot of flashback. Do you see how much yellow, I mean, how white it looks right here? So I feel like it's got a lot of flashback to it. So that's the other thing. Oh, sorry about that. 
So that's the other thing that I'm not so in love with. I feel like it gives me, I mean, even now it looks really white and it's because it's not the wrong shade or anything. It's because I feel like it's like going to give flashbacks. So I feel like if I took a picture with this right now, I feel like it would give me a ton of flashback just because of this right here, like how it's looking right now. It's not my setting powder. I did use the Becca, sorry. The Becca Under Eye Setting Powder, it's not this because I've used this many, many times and it doesn't cause that issue. So I know it's not that, it's this. So I don't like this whatsoever. I could not recommend this to you guys. I think it's terrible, honestly. So I'm just going to honestly put this in my crap pile because that's what it is. It's crap. <laughs> The next thing is the highlighter. So the highlighter is right here. This is the Avon True Color. This is the Moonlit Highlighting Powder. So the packaging is very sleek. It's not really heavy or very fancy feeling. It feels like a drugstore product, honestly. It doesn't feel like it's like high end or anything. Here's what the color looks like in the pan. It actually looks pretty in the pan. At first I thought, oh, it's gonna g it gave me like Becca vibes. I'm like, oh, maybe it would be like a, a Becca highlighter. It's not like a Becca highlighter. It's like a powder mixed with a teeny little bit of highlighter. Like there's not much highlight to this whatsoever. Like I had to literally go in with the wet brush to get a little bit of shine to show up. It's not highlighty whatsoever. So if you're someone who you just want a tiny bit of highlighter, you're gonna love this. If you're someone who likes a little bit more highlight, you're gonna hate it because it's not very highlighty whatsoever. The color's really pretty. I do think I'll keep it just because I think it'll be good for those days where I just want to wear a little bit of makeup and a little bit of highlight. So it's good for those days. But when days when you were trying to do your whole makeup and you want to have that highlight, it ain't there. It ain't there. So it's, it did not make me very happy. The last thing that we tried is lipstick. So we have two lipsticks here. I will tell you guys, I fell in love with Avon lipsticks. I didn't realize how soft and smooth and creamy and just I love the way they feel on my lips. I love this color I have on right now. This one is in the shade, um, I think it's Nude Beach or something like that. Uh, blush Nude. <laughs> I don't know why I thought Nude Beach. So this is Blush Nude. So I'll swatch it. Oh my gosh, we're running out of room. Swatch it right here. So you can tell it's got a little bit of a blue base to it. It's really, really pretty. I love this lipstick. I love how smooth and creamy it is. It's not kiss proof or anything like that, but it's it's just so nice on the lips. I don't find that it budges around or anything. I even use the, it's not super dark, but I used the darker shade and I didn't find that it was moving. The one thing I can say about this shade right here, which is shade uh, Cozy Mauve. It's hard for me to see. I think I need to get a magnifying glass. Cozy Mauve. This one's more like a metallic-y type of lip, in my opinion. So I think it looks pretty on the lips for sure. It gives me like that 90s vibe. So you can tell it's got a lot more metallic to it. So I think it's very, very pretty. I love both of these shades. Both of these shades are really, really nice. I, like I said, am very interested in trying out more lipsticks from Avon because these made me very excited because I'm like, these are nice. Like the packaging is nice. The lip product is nice. So it, I don't think they had a smell to them. No. Honestly, I don't really smell anything whatsoever, so I don't think they have a smell to them. They do have an Avon little logo on them. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it has like an Avon little logo stamped onto it. So that's kind of cute as well. They got their little mark, their little logo on there. So that's cute as well. So all in all, I feel like Avon does have some things that are like, they're good. They're really good. But do I feel like it's a brand that I would go out and spend a boatload of money on? No. So you can see like, I'm having a hard time getting those liners off. They they are good. They are very good. So they are really good eyeliners. Let me swatch that palette for you guys as well while we're sitting here. So I'm going to go in and swatch this for you quickly because we only have four shades. It's not like it's a ton to swatch. So like there's the white. Here's that purple shade. Here's the plum shade. Oh, and here's the silver shade. I probably should have started with my pinky. So here's the white. There's what it looks like. Here's that light purple. See, it's it's pigmented, but it's not it's not much there. Like it's hardly showing up at all. The plum, and then the silver. Can I recommend this palette to you guys? No, honestly, I would not recommend it. I wouldn't purchase it. I would say skip on this palette for sure. I haven't tried their other colors. They do have a ton of other colors you can choose from. This was just the color that called my name when I saw this, and I was like, oh, it looks nice. So the things I would say skip on is this palette for sure. Don't get it. The 
foundation I would say skip unless you have maybe oily or normal skin I think if you have very dry skin like I do you're not gonna like it this time of year you might like it better in like the summer like I said I think it might work better for me in the summer it doesn't have the my favorite coverage I think you need to work quickly with it so it's not my favorite as well the next thing that I this is for sure I hate that's a strong word but it I just don't like this this is the Avon True Color Ideal New Cream Concealer. I do not like this whatsoever. I do not recommend this. I give it a zero thumbs up. Like zero out of zero. It's it's bad. It is bad. Okay, the next thing is... Okay, now the things I could recommend to you guys. So, starting from my favorites. So, I would say... I don't know. I can't pick my favorites. Because I really like the rest of the things. The one thing I would say the highlighter is is mediocre at best so I don't think that's something you have to run out and get because I think that you can get drugstore ones which Avon pricing is pretty much almost drugstore so you could get this if you wanted to try it out but I would say that it's it's not the best not at all so the sponge skip because it's like a rubber bouncing ball in your face I don't like that okay so the two cheek products the bronzer and the blush shade i think both of them are very very nice i love the blush shade more than the, the bronzer shade but i like both of them honestly i feel like they both work really well i like their packaging i think their packaging is really cute i'm not exactly sure like i said what the magnetic is going to do for anything but they are magnetic just in case you were curious so oh they can be magnetic like that too oh wait so then that makes sense so then you can put one on top of the other well now that makes more sense okay so that just just learn that the other thing is the liners I feel like the liners are really really good I think that if you're looking for a good liner and you want to try some different colors they have some really pretty colors honestly on their site so I picked out the blue and the green those were my colorful colors and then the typical black they are very very creamy like I said so just go in with a light hand because you will they will break on you you start to get little pieces all over your all over your desk or your, wherever you're doing your makeup at the brow product I think is a perfect brow match for me. That's me though. So I mean it could be like not work well for you. So for the brow products I feel like they're good but not my favorite. They're really really creamy because I feel like because of them being really creamy I feel like you have to be careful with them as well. You don't want your brows looking all like matted down and just like the gold line across your forehead. So nobody wants that. The lip products, I would say definitely recommend. I would say if you're going to try anything, definitely try their lip products. Their lip products are absolutely amazing, so I really do like the lip products a lot. So that is it for today's video. Hopefully this was a little bit faster than what it typically is. I don't know if it is going to be actually because I feel like I've talked a lot. So either way, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions on any Avon products you've tried. What did you think of them? Did you like them? Did you hate them? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.